Some extrusions have weights in them. For example, this one has a galvanized steel weight inside the bottom rail. And this is what it's supposed to look like. It is galvanized steel, which means it has a tendency to corrode. So let's go take a look at what one looks like when it's corroded. Now if you take a look, you can see, look how fat that is. We have a lot of what we call door pregnancy going on there, and that is very, very serious. It can actually destroy the door. And I want to show you why that's the case by actually going to a door that's up and moving. So you know, here's an example of that rail, okay? So if it was really, really fat like this, how is it gonna move past this? And that's what happens in these types of door systems. So having that galvanized piece of steel in there is not a good idea. And it takes specialized understanding of how to remove that so that you don't actually destroy this piece of metal. We've created a special tool for that and we were able to remove this piece without destroying this piece of metal. And then we put the whole thing back in shape and we're able to uh, correctly fix the door. Here's what we call the door weight graveyard. These weights that you see laid out here are what we find in the bottom rail of your sliding glass doors on the operating panels. They're between the wheel systems and surrounded by the aluminum rail that you can see from the outside. I wanted you to see the first one isn't too badly corroded and every once in a while we'll find one that looks like that. But then as we get deeper in, you really start to see evidence of pock marking and corrosive elements at work. Here's an example that really showcases how this aggressively moves down the line and it just starts to really aggravate the door system. This is a good example of a side, top and side, that's being uh, a, a eaten up, basically. Then you get into some of these pieces that are fattening. And when we see it fattening, this is a great example of a fattening, we call that pregnant door syndrome. And the reason we call that is because it it forces the in the rails that you look at from the outside outward and once we have that situation happening you really have to remove this weight in fact if you don't remove the weight shortly it'll fatten to such an extent that you'll no longer be able to open the door this is a classic example right here of this is you know here's the little area where the weight's supposed to be look at all this extra that's over on the either side of it now all of that is inside that bottom rail and there's no tolerance for that in that rail and so when you start to see something like this happening what happens is you first fatten out the door so that you can't work the door anymore and then you start to eat the door so this is kind of like uh, cancer for the door system sometimes when we uh, get into it we also see these chunks and pieces that fall out there's so much corrosion going on that they actually have chunks and pieces of metal that come out when we, we have to take it apart now, to take apart this steel from the very soft aluminum rail that's at the bottom of your door is rather tricky. And so we've developed a special product for it. It's an invention that we made just specially to take these types of weights out of the bottom of your door. Because we're able to do that, we're not going to break the door system apart. But you do need to remove these for you to have longevity on your door systems. It's not something you want to take lightly.